Hey everyone, Vegan Mark here. I want to talk about the Black Lives Matter campaign and movement and the US riots that have been going on following the unfortunate death of George Floyd, a black person at the hands of the police in Minnesota, America. Well, I wouldn't choose to say that Black Lives Matter. I'm also not opposed to that message. I believe that if black people are good people and are more muted and underprivileged than average, then emphasizing the Black Lives Matter message is more socially progressive than not. Black Lives Matter is just really a slogan and interpreting it is the most, in, in the most useful ways is half the battle. I've had experiences with uh, black people who I prefer to call either Negro or Aboriginal or whatever race they are. But I've had experiences with black people in recent times which have been unpleasant and frustrating on a personal level. My clinician at uh, Mental Health Authority, Robert, was a, met, was, a, was a black guy, a Negro guy, who I didn't get along with very well. Um, it's just not that we didn't get along with extremely well, it's just that all the things that he said were very euphemistic and superficial and boring and I didn't like him as a clinician. But that doesn't discolour my opinion of black people in general. Uh, I do not allow the memory of his conduct to affect my perceptions of black persons generally. However, having said that, I am of the opinion that white persons generally have a different aesthetic to them. Um, the skin colour is different, the way that they act is different, and not, not entirely. I would say that people can be kind and loving as, as either black people or white people or Asian people or any other race, but an overwhelming majority of white people um, are indeed the stereotypes of being arrogant and too comfortable in their ways and are not generous enough and egalitarian enough in the way that they conduct themselves. But in terms of their aesthetic, I would say that they have in some ways an appeal to some people. They might be regarded as more beautiful, I'm not sure. Um, to, to a lot of people I think they are regarded as more beautiful than black people. Which is an unfortunate thing because the inequality is inherent in us. The way that we look at other people is inherently misaligned and inegalitarian. So if you look at people like Michael Jackson, for example, the, the, the great pop singer who died in 2005, I think it was, or young Asian generations who aspire to be white and, gla and glamorous um, by looking at all the advertisements of white people putting on makeup and cosmetics and doing facial surgery and stuff. We can see that white people have the advantage when it comes to everyday perceptions and perspectives and presentations. So this tempts racist attitudes, but it is not in itself racist. More accurately, it is a matter of skewed personal preference in favour of the white ideal, as I call it. We are all living in our tribes and we are all living in our sort of clusters of people. And more often than not, I tend to assimilate with white people more than I do with black people. And it's, it's an unfortunate thing, but it's until society becomes really integrated, that's the way it's going to be for a lot of people. In America, the, white, the black population is about 14% of the entire population, which is sizable, and it's about, I don't know how many million of people, it could be 60 million people in America who are black. But in Australia, it's not quite as noticeable. The, the Aborigines, they stick to themselves a lot, and they don't mingle, and they have their own lives pretty much. So the disadvantages that they have is not quite as apparent to me as a white person or as an Asian person. However, uh, I will say that I do not succumb to the consumer's attitudes of a lot of white people. I do not live outside my minimalist lifestyle and I do not buy luxuries or fancy clothing or a car or have dependent children that 
cost money, so I'm living a pretty decent life, I reckon. I will say that I am a fan of Aboriginal culture in Australia. I believe that Aborigines have inherent value with their cultural diversity and their, their cultural heritage. I think that's important to Australia. I think that Aborigines are in some ways inherently better than blacks in the sense that I promoted whites as being better than blacks. I think that Aboriginal Australians are better than ne Negro persons in, many, in, in most ways. And that's a prejudice which is dangerous and a dangerous allegation, um, asser uh, assertion to make, but it's one that I feel is a taste preference which I have to express. So, for those people who are expressing that Black Lives Matter, especially the white people, is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? I think that um, if you are going to promote Black Lives Matter with putting a black screen on your newsfeed or something, why not change your skin colour to black as well? That would show absolute solidarity with the black people. By being white and by post posting a black screen on your news feed, I don't think you're doing very much. And I think it's pretty hackneyed and cliched to do that sort of thing. So I don't do it myself. However, I don't think it's particularly harmful at the same time. I think that people posting black screens is not harmful. It shows some degree of solidarity. I just don't think it shows enough for those people who really want to support the black people. I would dress up in black. I would change my skin colour to black if I had to. That's, that's as far as I would go. So the debate online, I believe, has been healthy. I believe that talking about our preferences and our views and our beliefs about black people is very important. And I believe that it will resolve a lot of issues and I think it will create some positive social change, more than negative social change. I think that if people are pent up in their views and not allowed to express themselves, it will be even worse for the... For the um, for the Black Lives Movement. So I do not support the riots and the protests, but I believe that people act like people and that these things are inevitable. I believe that if people are rioting and protesting, whether peacefully or unpeacefully, this is a manifestation of their existence. And they are inherently, not necessarily entitled, but predisposed to act these ways and I think that as an authority, if I was an authority, I would do I would act sensibly to try and contain the mess and the violence and ensure that as few people as possible are harmed and insulted in the protests. But um, I would not outlaw them and I would not punish people for participa participating in these protests. So other things I believe it include the fact that the slogan all lives matter is pretty is okay and inherently a message that is relatively okay but it's pretty boring and i think it's not uh, it's pretty obvious a message but uh, people will get upset about it black lives matter people will get upset about the all lives matter message and make it more offensive than it really is it's not a big deal in my opinion however I will say this about animal rights because i believe that animal rights is being underserved and underrepresented underrepresented I believe that animal rights continues to be the most underserved and most deserving cause of all, not least to the sheer numbers of those being abused and murdered, those numbers of animals being abused and murdered by human taste pleasure, and the, num and the insensitive way in which most people keep dealing with the issue of animal rights. So if you wanted to support, support a cause, I strongly and heartily suggest that you support animal rights. So I hope that leads you to understand more about my beliefs and my perspectives on Black Lives Matter. I believe that my opinion is more valid and more rational and reasonable than most people's. Um, but that's my opinion. And if you have any discussion or any feedback on how you feel about this video, please let me know in the comments section below. It'd be nice to hear from you. All right. Bye for now.